everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm gonna show you how to make crispy chicken sandwiches. These are crispy on the outside and so juicy inside. I love these even more than going out and homemade is just always better. I think these are gonna become a new favorite and wait until you see the batter we use. It's so good. <laughs> All right, let's get started. To make six chicken sandwiches, start with three medium chicken breasts. Cut those in half lengthwise. Place your chicken cutlets between two sheets of plastic wrap. We're gonna pound these to get them to an even half inch thickness so that they cook more evenly. It's easiest to use a meat mallet if you have one, but some simple household items will also work. Sometimes you can find chicken that's already pre-sliced into cutlets and save yourself a step. Now that the chicken is even in thickness, we're gonna whisk together our marinade. In a medium mixing bowl, combine one and a half cups of low-fat buttermilk with one tablespoon of hot sauce, one teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of onion powder, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Stir that chicken marinade together to combine, then add the chicken cutlets, turning them to coat. You wanna make sure the cutlets are fully submerged in the marinade because that marinade will tenderize them and give them great flavor. Now cover the bowl with plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least two hours or overnight. Giving it time to marinate will ensure tender and juicy chicken. Once that has been marinating for at least two hours, you can take it out of the refrigerator and we're gonna make our breading. In a medium bowl, combine one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and two teaspoons of baking powder. Season that with two teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of paprika. A well-seasoned flour mixture is key here, so do not skimp on those seasonings. Whisk that all together to combine. Now it's time to dip the chicken into the flour mixture. Remove one piece of chicken from the marinade, letting the excess drip back into the bowl. Now dip the chicken into the flour mixture, turning to coat, and pressing that flour mixture onto the chicken with your hands. For the best fried chicken, you wanna make sure you have a thick and shaggy layer of that flour mixture on each chicken cutlet. Once you have the cutlets dredged in flour, transfer them to a wire rack. Repeat this process with the remaining cutlets, coating each one generously. Once all of the chicken pieces are coated, you're gonna heat one inch of canola oil or vegetable oil in a large soup pot or Dutch oven. Heat the oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, then just before putting the chicken into the hot oil, dip it one more time in the flour mixture. Cook the chicken two pieces at a time. You don't wanna overcrowd the pot so the temperature of the oil doesn't reduce too quickly. Keep the oil at about 300 to 325 degrees Fahrenheit while cooking your chicken and adjust the temperature as needed. You're gonna cook for about three minutes per side or until the internal temperature of the chicken has reached 165 degrees Fahrenheit on an instant read thermometer. Keep in mind the temperature of the chicken will rise at least five degrees once it comes out of the oil. Transfer the chicken to a clean wire rack and let it rest and cool for about 10 minutes. Resting the chicken on a wire rack like this will ensure it stays crispy all around. Repeat this process with the remaining chicken cutlets. Monitoring the temperature of the oil and the temperature of the chicken is key to making great fried chicken. I'll leave links to the two thermometers I used in all of the tools we used to make this recipe in the notes. <laughs> Who is ready for the taste test? <laughs> I love to serve these while they're still fresh and warm because that's when the outside is the crispiest because I just can't resist that crunch. Okay, we're gonna assemble these right away and because I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, let's do this. And make sure you toast your buns with a little bit of butter until they're golden like this because it makes all the difference in a sandwich. Just trust me on that one. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. Okay, and we're using 
a fry sauce. If you've never tried fry sauce, it's just mayo and a little bit of ketchup. And I will link to this combination in the notes. It's so easy, it's so good. We also use this for burgers. So start by putting a generous amount on the bottom bun and the top bun. So we love having juicy sandwiches. Nobody likes a dry sandwich. Okay. Now, this is the order that we like because it seems to keep the bun from getting soggy. So we'll start with the pickles. I love these crunchy dill pickles. Sweet pickles will probably be nice here too, if that's what you prefer. And now, the lettuce. I love this curly green lettuce, it's so pretty. And next, thick slices of tomato. I have a feeling that the sandwich is gonna be really tall and the taste test should be interesting. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, the chicken. Okay, which one to pick? Let's go with this one. This one looks extra crispy. And if you let the chicken rest on the rack like this, it keeps it from getting soggy. It's better not to use paper towels. This works much better. Okay, I think we have a sandwich here. It's just a... <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but I will need that, I'm sure. Okay, here we go. Look at that, that is huge. Love it, <laughs> love it, love it. Oh, my hungry belly loves it. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Look at those layers. Ooh. Crispy chicken sandwich. Yum, yum. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to bite into this. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. This beats restaurant chicken sandwiches all day long. <laughs> it doesn't get any fresher than this. Yum, and I love that it's just all the best ingredients in here. The chicken is juicy, crisp on the outside. I love that little crunch when you bite into it. This is so good. And that fry sauce, try it. It's so easy, but it will change all your sandwiches. This is my new summer sandwich. Looks good on me. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys love this. Hope it becomes a new favorite for you. And we'll see you in our next video.